Hey guys, it's bedtime again, and we're going to read to you The Bull and the Fire Truck by Tony Johnston and illustrated by R.W. Alley. Bernardo was a bull, big and bulky and brave. He lived with his family on a farm, but one day he was driven to a new farm in a bright red truck. There he is in the truck, leaving the farm. The red truck made him mad. It was like a cage. And on the trip, he snorted at it. He tried to shake it. He tried to butt its red sides. But he was too big and bulky to move. And there he is all the ways he's been trying to get out of it. He does seem rather angry. From then on, Bernard... From then on, Bernardo did not like red. Red apples, red flowers, red bandanas, red made him mad. And there he is, attacking everything that he sees as red. She looks really angry, doesn't she? Bernardo roamed the fields of his new home, eating grass and growing bigger and bulkier. There he is. Uh-oh, I think he sees the red bird. One day he heard something. Cling, cling, clang, clang. Whee! A bright red fire truck rushing to a fire sped past Bernardo's field. There he is, looking at the fire truck full of firemen rushing off to save the day. He even dropped his flower. The fire truck made him think of the other red truck. It made him mad. So he stopped chewing grass and started chasing the fire truck. There he is. He does look angry, and they're headed to town. You see the little sign? It says to town. When it reached the town, the fire truck slowed down for cars. Bernardo did not slow down. The big and bulky and brave, he charged full speed ahead. There he is. Look, there's even a policeman directing traffic. The little boy is looking at the bull confused. I think the firemen might see him too. Wham! 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 He tried to smash it. The firefighters could not believe their eyes. They were thrown all around like hay. Most of all, they were surprised. Stop! 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 They shouted. But Bernardo kept butting the fire truck. Bound, bound, bound. And there he is, hitting it. And they're so confused and scared, they don't know what to do. Look, their hats, most of them are even falling off. He's hitting that fire truck hard. He must be really strong. Hoses snaked all over the street. Pieces rattled to the ground. People crowded around when they heard the loud sounds. Bernardo's owner drove by. Stop! 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 He shouted at Bernardo. But Bernardo was big and bulky and brave. He did not stop till he knocked himself silly. Look at all the people staring. And in the other picture, Bernardo laying on top of a broken fire truck. Knocked himself out. Isn't that silly? The fire truck was dented like a big tin can. A tow truck took it away. 
another fire truck went to the fire. There it is. The broken red fire truck on the tow truck. He really did a number on it. And there's the new fire truck. An older version that's yellow. Bernardo and the firefighters went to the doctor. The firefighters had some bumps, but they were fine. Bernardo had some bumps too. Mostly his head hurt. There they are. The firefighters with all the little band-aids and ice packs. Bernardo with a big block of ice on his head. Looking kind of confused. Looks like Albert Einstein working on him. That's kind of funny. What happened? The doctor asked Bernardo's owner. My bull hates red, the farmer said. So he wrecked a fire truck. The doctor smiled. He sure got spunk. He gave Bernardo a pat. He gave the farmer a note. Keep this bull away from red. And there's the doctor talking to the owner who's riding on Bernardo. He must be brave too, huh? And there's the doctor's note that says, Keep this bull away from red. And it's written in red ink. That's kind of silly. So the farmer put Bernardo in a far field where there was nothing red to make him mad. To be extra safe, he grew yellow apples, planted blue flowers, wore a purple bandana, and he painted his truck green. There they are. Everything's green, yellow, purple, and blue. Nothing even close to red. They look a lot happier now, even Bernardo. Good idea, said the firefighters. They painted their truck green, too. There they are, painting their truck green. Look, this one even dumped the paint can and almost, and I think he's painting his dog on accident. Isn't that silly? Kind of funny, too. The end. And look, they even painted the town fire hydrants green as well. A little sign on it says wet paint. Isn't that silly? That's a good book, huh? Good night. Be kind. Good night. Be good. And always be kind.